you know, design starts with uh, an understanding of some type of vision, and you're trying to execute on that vision. And I think at every point that you come up to something that's disrupting that vision or preventing you from achieving that vision, that's an opportunity. That's an opportunity to break through, find a new way to do it, because that's where most people will stop and say it can't be done. And so, you know, innovation and design work pushes through that and finds a new way to think about uh, things that people have bumped up against basically before. I think design is just something that gets people excited. It's just that just certain things are beautiful and it's just nice to you know, have someone who really thought something through when they created it and really thought it through through the end and even the environment and other elements that are important in design when they sort of create these different objects. My name is Pichaya. Uh, I work for Yves Behar and Fuse Project. What you see in here is, we call it Voyage uh, Mini. Where the, it was about the movement of people, um, the idea of come and go. So the form that we do express the gesture of where you are, where you'll be, and where you have been in the past. Great design is, is, is a perfect balance between form and function in the right context. Form, because it's gotta, be, it's gotta look good, it's gotta, it's gotta be appealing. Function, because it's gotta work, and it's gotta work over time, not just the first time that you use it. Uh, and in context, is because something that works uh, here in New York City or in the US might not work in China, might not work in Europe. So you, you really have to put that in context. Whatever design is, it's got to be in context and it's got to be balanced. If I do the same the same piece, you know, why would I be creative? So I challenge myself over and over again to do things which I'm sure I can't, because that's what I can do best. If, if, you, if you have a good choice for who you work with or who you have fun with, you know, the result will be more than you alone. You know, you bring your love, your passion, your ideas to the table together. You inspire each other to think about a project in a certain way. You could think something completely different than other people, which, you know, makes you stand completely alone in, uh, in, in an area which is kind of most important to you in life, which makes you feel very lonely at some points in your life. And, uh, and I think that's, a, you know, that's very fearful. But I think it's a, it's a place you have to accept to be in. You have to be daring enough to just go for it anyhow. Groups that work on creative projects and companies get excited to come to work. That's radical. You see it in every company I've been to, where they get to work on some kind of design creative project. And they're the happiest campers. You know, they're coming to work actually early and leaving later. And so there's something there that has to be talk, talked about. The problem with creativity is people think it's some kind of like loosey-goosey thing. Like, let's get in a conference room, let's brainstorm. Let's sit on bean bags. Let's have squishy balls. Now we're creative. Do you feel it? Mm -hmm. And so it, what he said is missing is that people don't realize that creativity, art and design are a disciplined approach to something very difficult. So that also has to happen before people acknowledge the fact that this stuff is hard stuff and that's why it makes business better. <laughs>